some parameter distribution of a sample mean, which is what we are going to see in this lesson. But please don't forget to subscribe the channel. Now, the sample mean, we saw that we saw some sample examples in the probability, I mean, when they are stable with some statistics. Now, here I think people know what a sample mean is. So, if a sample m has been known from a population with mean, mu, and variance, sigma squared, there is no significant difference between sample x and then the population mean mu. So, if we have a population with mean mu and we draw a certain number of a sample which is of size n, the population, the mean of the whole population is not, there is not any difference, big difference with the mean of the population and that of that sample, or what we call the sample mean, or the sample we have got from that same population. So if we have x as a normal distribute, a normal distributed variable with mean mu and standard deviation and mean probability and variance with this, then this is how we use combat to z. Now if we have a mean, if now we use a the sample, then this is how we are going to get our variance, we're going to get this or common derivative as sigma squared over n. And the moment we have this, we get now, we know where what is here is what we divide here. So what is here is what we are going to divide here. Why do we divide by n? Of course you know that if I have bar of n, bar of the total is going to be sigma squared, the whole over n. So when I get the square root of that member, sigma, Various standard deviation to the square root of variance to give us sigma over root of n. That's why we divide by that. So, in simple terms, this is our standard deviation of a sample we have used there. So, now let us see some examples. Boxes are made in a factory, have weights which are normally distributed with mean. So, they first get back. So, our mean, I think that's like our mean there. Is 4.5 and so deviation, so they are giving us sigma as 2. Find the probability of there being a box with weight more than this. Now it's that this one is just a normal distribution. We have not sampled anything. So this was written as a normal distribution. So I want the probability that our x, I say let x be the weight the weight of boxes. So if x, the one now, repeat that they are being box with weight more than, more than 5.4. Now this one repeat, no man has repeated these normal random variables. And so this will be, we standardize this, this will be now probability of z greater than, this is now our x, then minus our mean, divided by our sigma, which is 2. This one, because there is no any sample known. So, this is now parameter of z, greater than. Then, you press that on your calculator. And here you get 0 0.45. And you say, the moment you see this, it means that you are, this is the value of z, which is positive, so it's here. Of five, this is our mean, and so we want to use probability here. And you say this one is the same as 0 0.5 minus b. So this will be now 0 0.5 minus the probability of 0 less if this is our p. 0 less z less 0 0.45, which will be 0 0.5, then minus that probability when you read the table. It's going to be 0 0.1736. And if you subtract that, you get 0 0.3264. And so that's what you get there. Now, when we come to part B, if a sample, now we start here, we are dealing with a sample. If a sample of spin boxes, now they are our N in our part B. 
our aim is 16. Because we are dealing with the sum of split boxes, find the parameter that the mean is between this and this. Now we are talking about the mean. So we are going now to use this x bar. So now the matters to get to find the probability is that the mean is between 4 and 6. So that's now here we use x bar because we are dealing with sample, a sample of mean is between this and 4.7. Now we say this one, we first standardize this part. Standardize it, we have to be careful that this is the formula we are using when standardizing. So this will be now the probability of now 4.6 minus our mean is of the population. This remains mean of the population. That's why I'm going to subtract 4.5. Then I divide by my standard deviation. My standard deviation was 2 of the population. And this time I divide by root of a, which is 16. Less than less 4.7 minus 4.5. Now all over 2 over root of 16. Or you can easily use this root of 16, we say that it's already 4. But we are taking the positive because the sum of that mean negative. That's why we are taking the positive. When you compute this, you are going to get the probability. You press that on the calculator straight away. So you see this one, we are going to be having 0 0.5 down this one. Or 0 0.1. And that this will be 0 0.2 less than less. Now we have 0.2 0 0.2 plus 0.4. And so that's what I'm adding. And so these are all positives. So this is the case we are having. We have 0 0.2, then this is 0 0.4. We need this probability. This is now, these are now in the standard. So this will be now, for we said we get a probability of this from here up to here. Of z less 0 0.4. Then we subtract off the probability from here up to here. 0 0.2. Then when you get from here up to here, then from here up to here, you can get the probability of that. You go to your table and read off z with 0 0.4. Part B between this and this, I think this one you can handle in your free time. When we have between 4.3, let's x now this is bar, let's 4.8. We standardize this, we have probability of 4.3 minus the mean 4.5, now all over 2, the standard deviation over root 16. Let's say less minus four point five. Now we divide by two over root sixteen. And so from there we get the probability of This one is a probability. If you 
try to sketch that. You see, it's going to be something where we have a negative, so negative zero point four. This is zero. Then we have zero point six inside. So maybe it's probably here. So this will be now. We say you get the parameter of the modulus of this. Then by the of that, parameter of zero less z less modulus of zero point four. Then plus probability from zero less z less zero point six. This will give us when you press that. When you read the table, so we read the table for a positive. Okay, let me do it here so that people can see zero point four. That's probability from zero less z less zero point six. We read the tables for positive values of z. So when you read that the table, the value will get to be point four. You got it already. It's here. Zero point one five five four. Then plus the other one of point six. Zero point two two five eight. And then you add there. So whenever we have a sample, please use that probability distribution of a sample mean. The only change is we divide with root n, where n is the sample size we are using. You can't use this. Here you can't use the normal approximation for binomial because you know that. Because for normal approximation for binomial, we are not using this sample because we are using the number of trials. But here we are using a sum out of the total. So the total was maybe a hundred, but now we have a sum of hundred sixteen out of the hundred. So be careful there. So that's it, members. Wish you well.